A big V8 powered rear wheel drive tire shredder is a perfect synonym with an American muscle car. However, this typical concept shifted slightly when many automakers aimed to cut costs and introduced front wheel drive platforms, some of which were still powered by large displacement V8s. While there are countless four and six cylinder front wheel drive cars, these V8 powered examples are a bit more unique, with some even retaining the longitudinal engine placement. Oldsmobile Tornado Judging by its long hood and sleek, sporty design, one might assume this car is a typical rear-wheel drive muscle car. However, based on the GME platform, which supported both front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive configurations, the Oldsmobile Tornado was actually the first post-war front-wheel drive car from the US. It was powered by either a 425 or 455 cubic inch longitudinal V8 engine, paired with a 3-speed turbohydromatic transmission designed for this unique layout. In this setup, the torque converter was positioned right behind the engine, with the gear mechanism located beneath it, driven by a chain from the torque converter. With the engine situated above the front axle, the entire engine gearbox differential assembly was remarkably short in length. Cadillac Eldorado The Cadillac Eldorado transitioned to a front-wheel drive layout with the introduction of the 8th gen model after more than two decades of being rear-wheel drive. This shift occurred shortly after the debut of the Oldsmobile Toronado. The Eldorado adopted the same turbohydromatic transmission as the Toronado, though it was paired with a Cadillac-specific engine to maintain brand distinction. These engines included a 7-liter, 7.7-liter and the renowned 500 cubic inch 8.2-liter which experienced a significant power drop when the industry transitioned from the SAE gross to SAE net horsepower ratings. The 8.2-liter engine saw its output drop from 365 to 220 horsepower, eventually dropping to as little as 190 horsepower. The first front-wheel drive Eldorado was marketed as a personal Cadillac, entering the emerging personal luxury car segment. Four Taurus Show In the late 1990s, the third gen Four Taurus was introduced as a mid size model, positioned between the Contour and Crown Victoria. Unlike the real world drive Crown Vic, the Taurus remained from drive. Personally, I find the third gen Taurus to be the most unattractive of the series, but it was the only one to receive a V8 during its production run. This V8-powered variant was the super-high-output model, featuring a unique hybrid engine with a Cosworth block and Yamaha design heads, though it was unfortunately paired with a lackluster 4-speed automatic. The engine was an all-aluminum closed-deck unit with cylinder dimensions and a bang angle, matching those of the 2.5-liter Duratec V6. This required split connecting rod journals for even firing order and the addition of a balance shaft. The low end was reinforced with a main girdle for added strength.
Lincoln Continental. The Lincoln Continental switched from rear-wheel drive to front-wheel drive relatively late in the late 1980s, using the Ford FN9 platform. It took another generation before the V8 returned, now transversely mounted and paired with the same transmission as the Taurus Show V8. Marketed as the Intec V8, it was actually a 4.6 litre Ford module engine with a four valve heads, featuring two intake ports per cylinder and variable intake length runners. In 1999, these two features were removed, which allegedly helped broaden the torque band and increase both power and torque. Cadillac Alante. The Alante was selected from a batch of 1600 computer generated potential names. It was the result of a collaboration between GM and the Italian coach builder Pininfarina. The bodies were produced in Turin, while the underpinnings were based on a shortened version of GME's e platform known as the V body. The Elante was powered exclusively by V8 engines, ranging from 170 horsepower 4.1 liter to 295 horsepower 4.6 liter North Star V8. Cadillac marketed the Elante as a new spirit of Cadillac, positioning it as a competitor to the Mercedes SL class and Jaguar XJS. Chevrolet Impala says, Using the W platform, GM created several other V8 powered front wheel drive cars in the 2000s. They developed an all aluminum 5.3 liter LS4 specifically for this purpose, compact and shortened to fit as a transverse engine. The crankshaft was shortened at both the flywheel and accessory ends and a remote water pump was used. The LS4 also featured active fuel management, a cylinder deactivation system. This engine produced around 300 horsepower, enabling 0 to 62 miles per hour time of approximately 6 seconds. The LS4 was used exclusively in the Pontiac Grand Prix GXP, Chevrolet Impala SS, Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS, and the big Lacrosse Super. Cadillac Coupe de Ville. In the 1980s, GM introduced a bunch of other platforms, including various front-wheel drive ones, such as the C and K body. The platforms underpinned cars like the Cadillac Seville, Deville, Fleetwood, with a few bricks and Oldsmobiles. Cadillacs were the only ones using 8-cylinder engines, known as the high technology 4.1, 4.5 and 4.9 liters. These low displacement V8s may seem underfed, but many praise them for good low end torque and awesome drivability. Some of these were carried over into the 90s generation along with a new variety of North Star Twin Cam units. Mm -hmm. 